What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video that we're going to be covering here. I get a lot of people asking me about this. So this is how to dominate legend AI. You're going to see here a couple of clips and I'm going to give you a couple of do's and don'ts, right? And just show you in real time playing against legend AI. All the clips that you see here are against legend AI while we've been doing the victory run campaign. We'll show you towards the end. We're using a fairly beastly team, but it's a fairly standard team for this stage of the game, right? Obviously, look, depending on your journey so far, we've got Wamba Saka, Tami Yasu, Marquinhos, and Cancelo. We've got Romario up front, who's probably the best center forward in the game. Yes, it's a beastly squad, there's no doubt about it. But a lot of these uh, a lot of this squad could be achieved if you've played the game for a while. But this formation and this setup where you have two central midfielders, you've got a left and a right for width and a central figure up front, as well as a back five, essentially, with a DMF. We'll have a look at that in a, in a minute. But all of this advice can kind of link in, because it's more about how the AI play, right? So I would describe the AI on Legend Difficulty as playing against a proper kind of Division 2, maybe a Division 1 type player when they have the ball, right? If you, if you play them at their game. A lot of people make the mistake of chasing the AI and letting them kind of dictate the pace, right? But you will notice here in a couple of the clips that we have, we're literally just, look at the difference in the AI, right? When they try to press you, right? We've been turned over in possession here. Watch how rapid they will turn against you and go for a goal, right? It's rapid. It's just straight away, as I said, it's playing against a sweaty Division 1 or 2 player that just wants to score goals and is not too concerned about spacing or possession or throwing the ball around with any bit of pace, right? So you'll see here when we turn the ball over, when we're playing at this role and at this game and at this pace and at this tempo, the AI love this, man. They, they, they thrive on this, right? And you'll notice here from the graphics, right? Uh, you'll see a pattern in how, in how they defend and how they attack. They like to defend in lines straight across the pitch. Once you break in that line, you can actually destroy them. You can dominate them if you're able to use it, right? So I would say that Legend AI, while it can be boring sometimes going just towards the events, it will actually improve you as a player because it will teach you the fundamentals of the game. And if you come up against somebody that has never played against the Legend AI and you're able to regularly beat the Legend AI, you will give any online opponent a serious goal, right? Because a lot of the stuff that works online, okay, um, doesn't work against an offline AI, right? So if you're playing online against, you know, Division 2, II, Division 3 guys, and you're trying to get up to Division 1, or even if you're looking to kind of get a personal best every month or whatever with the match pass or whatever it is you want to do with the eFootball League, you will notice that the AI play very differently. So it's a different type of challenge. Again, here's another example. We rush in with Carlos and then we decide, no, we're not going to rush in. We're just going to defend the space. And what happens? He puts in a stupid ball. The AI put in a terrible pass and the chance completely breaks down. Instead of me rushing in and getting ripped apart, I just sit back and I say, right, what are you going to throw at me? Not a lot. And they don't. So the best thing, the best way I can describe it is, right, when you hold the ball against the AI and you kind of try and probe them and carve them open, right? A lot of people, now I would say 90% of people do not play like this in eFootball online. If you come up against a guy online, right, and you play like this, you will frustrate your opponent and you'll also be fundamentally sound. Now, the biggest issue with playing off, offline that a lot of people don't understand is this summed up in this clip here. This does not work against the Legend AI. The touching goals that you can absolutely spam uh, in online and is your kind of direct route to scoring goals and get really good chances it's just completely nullified by the AI he just reacts they already know the AI kind of know exactly what you're going to do before you do it against the legend AI because it's programmed they know exactly right the only option he's going to do here he's after pressing that button to touch and go you don't have to contend with the human element of the reflexes the AI know exactly that what you're trying to do with the touch and go this will not work on the on rare circumstances if you've got really, really lightning quick players. But you can play with a standard team built up and you can still dominate the AI if you just figure out how to play them at their own game and not play to their style, right? You see again here with Griezmann. If you go close and you chase and you just try to get frustrated, they'll just pass around you in little pockets of space. Now, what happens when we sit back with Zico? There's nothing else on for him. What happens? He boots it forward and it's an easy, easy mop up, even though Casillas and Carlos are not talking to each other after that exchange. But there's nothing else on there for Griezmann. He's not going to recycle it. And look at how defensive I am holding all of the players back there. They've got three across the line with Griezmann. They've got three inside with the line there. And they've got two players that are completely nullified from the play. So obviously a bit of skill comes into it as well. I think this is the easiest way. 
scoring against the AI when you're set up for a 4-2-3-1 um, where you've got two center midfielders whether that's an attacking and a CMF or you've got two CMFs that are just sitting as kind of box to box or destroyers or creative playmakers I like to have defensive players the AI seem to react a little bit better to them uh, when you're not controlling them but yeah obviously a bit of skill level will come in here but I find that when you're playing against the AI you'll see here we rush in Morata's going dead for goal we get another brilliant chance and then we hit him on the break but we're patient it's not just touch and go touch and go centric we're patient we give a terrible pass here we get punished for it it goes back in here they boot it up Declan Rice mops up now we're going to be patient with it Bellingham to Carlos Carlos to Ribery Ribery little one two we're not going to do the one two just yet with Ribery we're going to recycle we're going to look for the space there's the space the little pocket we've got acres of time and it's a bullet into the back of the net obviously Zico is not going to miss from there because he's a beast you might not have these good players but the same rules apply uh, if you are obviously taking a lot of this you just mightn't beat them 3-4-0 um, you know you can absolutely smash them when you play them at this style of play right so what I would say to you is the best thing about Legend AI lads right is it will teach you how to be very comfortable on the ball you can just completely dominate when you get the ball you don't need to worry about possession you're more worried about your pass rate your pass conversion rate your shot conversion rate let them have the ball don't don't panic about it they will always make a mistake or two over the course of the game and it'll teach you patience it will teach you how to be very fundamentally sound at the game i definitely think if you're looking to get up into division two division one division three any of the top three divisions when you're going to be coming up against guys that are playing 40 plus hours a week and that have literally got the who's who in their squad you know like this is an epic squad but it's nowhere near my full strength team i've been playing for the last two years so obviously i'm going to have a beastly squad but if you are able to learn exactly what works and limit your mistakes you will improve as a player that when you go online and you come up against somebody that's used to just dominating and rolling over teams he'll be like what's this guy playing at he's holding the ball he's not pressured he's you know defending the space a lot what happens online is you're playing against the same style of player the whole time and they're more likely after playing a lot more hours than you have a much better squad than you and if you play them at their own game they will destroy you three four nil if you score three goals brilliant but they might score four and you'll still lose whereas when you control the tempo of the game it's brilliant and it's able to be taught uh, very very easily offline so yeah that would be my advice to you guys let me know what you guys think and i'll talk to you later peace